Right, how you doing? Uh, it's another video um, making here is uh, is my power supply. I have two stainless steel rods. Um, see, two stainless steel rods, threaded rods. They're a foot long in a cylinder with, uh, it's not quite full of water, it's just plain water. And I added uh, half a teaspoon of baking soda. Because I saw this online, I saw it, some guy was selling these for 160 something dollars in a little mason jar. So I, I figured I, <laughs> I'd throw this together and uh, see what it does. So here we go. Here's the bubbles. I'll let you guys know when I put it in a, in a container and actually run it. But I mean, that's crazy. 160 something dollars the guy wanted online for a mason jar with two stainless steel rods in it. Uh, but it works, I guess. But I wouldn't pay that much money for it. You know, seeing how the rod costs $6. A case of mason jars is like $7. Um, the fittings and whatever, it probably costs you 10 bucks to make one unit. Um, but anyways, some people, I don't know. Anyway. Ooh, mix it up, get rid of the bubbles so you can see it again. Okay. I got them duct taped on there. I know, I know, it's not the right way to do it, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, it's just something I threw together just to see if it would work with the stainless steel rods. Um, let's see. Now I'm 12 volts, uh, 2.5 amps it puts out. Look at that. And all it is, guys, is a stainless steel bolt, basically. I bought a one foot, I bought a, a three foot stainless steel threaded rod, cut it into three pieces, and uh, this is two of them. The negative uh, produces. See here, yeah. The negative produces hydrogen, and the uh, positive releases the oxygen. So it's only 12 volts, if that. Probably, I think I metered this at 11.5 or something, but it puts out 2.5 amps. It's a computer power supply, so I'll shut it off. Let the, let the water clear. And there we go. Turn it on again. You can see the bubbles. There's my kids freaking out in the background. <laughs> okay. Let me reset my power supply. Yes, it's the reason why I'm using this one is because it's junk. <clears throat> okay. All right. Let's try again. There's the bubbles. I haven't, like, I've had my hands all over these stainless steel rods, so the oil from my hands are all over it, plus whatever got on it from my workbench here. Um, so they're not really clean. So if the rods were clean, freed from oils from my skin and stuff, and uh, and uh, conditioned properly, like used a few times, I'm sure the bubbles on the oxygen side would be releasing too. But you can see they're all sticking to the rod because of the crap that's on it. But yeah, I, I mean, using straight stainless steel, the water stays pretty clean. Um, what's it looking here? It's away from the bubbles. Once the wall, once the bubbles clear, it's all set. Uh, yeah, it's the rest of my junk. Uh, my little warped core one. Uh, my my ragu bubbler. Um, a couple other cells that I built. But uh, that's it.
I just wanted to share with you that you don't have to spend all kinds of money to do this. I mean, a lot of people use these here, these little coil, these little coils, okay? This one's a mess, you can't let them touch and all this, I know that. Um, but uh, this is galvanized wire, which is bad. Makes a big brown goopy mess, it stinks, toxic, all that other wonderful stuff. If you use stainless steel, you get clean water like this. But stainless steel costs money, so I just use the rods, and they're cheaper. See the water's nice and clean. Make sure my wires aren't touching, and uh, throw this on again. Show you one more time, then I'll shut it off. Ah, look at the bubbles. See that? And all it is is a stainless steel rod. You run that to the intake, the air intake on your car, and it'll help your gas mileage. Alrighty, and uh, appreciate you watching the videos. Send me any comments, kind ones, preferably. Um, but that's it. I'll see you online. Bye-bye.